For me, the high point of today was clearly the oil and gas decarbonization charter, which calls for the virtual elimination of methane emissions, the end of routine flaring, and a commitment to independent and public reporting of emissions using recognized international standards. Now, coupled with the oil and gas methane standards that were finalized by the U.S. government also today, and the methane initiatives outlined in the UAE-China-U.S. summit that Adnan just referenced, in terms of the temperatures that we will otherwise see in the next decade, Today could be the single most impactful day of announcements from any COP in my 30 years at the Environmental Defense Fund. So I can now tell you that I was in Abu Dhabi um, back in September, and it was a, a closed-door room with um, many uh, CEOs of, of the oil industry and some others of heavy, in, of heavy industry. And we met, there were about 40 um, principals there, we met for three hours, and um, the COP presidency challenged the oil companies president, present to commit to lowering their methane emissions by what we calculate would be this 90%. And I watched the reaction of the companies in the room, and I really wasn't sure if they would do it or not. And then uh, Dr. Sultan at, at noontime um, took the stage and uh, he started out his speech um, asking the CEOs um, if, actually he started out his speech honestly saying, are there any media in the room? And there weren't any. Um, and then he said, uh, if, if there's any CEOs of oil companies in the room who think climate change isn't gonna dramatically affect your business, you're mistaken. He then said that he had been asked to um, chair this COP a few months earlier, and um, he, he said, you know, none of them would have accepted the job, maybe for good reason, because uh, by September, when we had this meeting, late September, he said he had already been subject of attacks almost every day. He said because of that, when the cop comes around, there was going to be a focus on himself, but not only himself, but inevitably the oil sector as well. And then he said, this could be the company's last chance to demonstrate that they could step up and do what needed to be done, at least to take a big step. And he talked about the methane um, as an element of this, these reductions down to 0.2% when um, now uh, the, we know from our measurements the industry average is more like 2%. And he said, um, at the end of his talk, he said, I need you, I need your support, I need you to sign up. Are you with me? Are you in or are you out? By this point, the hair was standing up on the back of my neck. The room was entirely silent, but I didn't know if that silence was they were in or they were out. But at the end of the day, I had a chance to talk to Dr. Sultan, and I, I thanked him for his speech. It was one of the best speeches I've heard in my career. And uh, after thanking him, I said, well, are they in or are, are they out? He had been having bilaterals all day. And he picked up his phone and he pointed it at me as I am pointing my phone at you and he said, Fred, my phone has been lighting up all day. They are telling me they are in. So I, I just want to tell that story and, and thank Dr. Sultan for his leadership at bringing this industry in uh, such a high percentage of it. Not as many as we need. We need to have the rest of the oil companies to join too but uh, this really is a momentous day.